Okay, in order to lose body fat, okay, body fat, if you gotta lose 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds of body fat, in order to do that, you have to get your body to eat itself. Yes, <laughs> you have to be in a caloric deficit based on what your body needs. And to keep this very simple is to look at what you need to eat on a day-to-day -day basis to maintain your current weight. So let's assume, let's say you weigh 200 pounds. Let's take a 200 pound individual and they need to lose 30 pounds. They wanna lose 30 pounds and get down to 170. In order to do that, you have to be, you know, it, it, to, for that person to maintain, let's say it's 2,500 calories they need per day to maintain the 200 pound. You have to be in a caloric deficit of, let's say, 500. You could start off at 250 calories per day, but 500 calories to 700 calories. 500 calories to me is very healthy, especially when you have the macros, macronutrients, meaning protein, fats, and carbs figured out. What I mean by figured out, where protein is the first thing that goes in your mouth, <laughs> uh, you know, at each meal. Fat combined and then your carbs. I'm not talking about eliminating anything out of your life, any, any, any foods. It's just lowering the caloric intake down. If you like, if you eat meat, great. Up your meat content. If you can't eat that, you know, you, there's always that supplement, protein shakes. Um, protein powders are fantastic. I still list them as food because they are food at this point. The pro there's so many great protein powders out there that, you know, substituting them, they are 100% protein um, when it comes to, you, you know, meeting your day-to-day -day needs for protein intake. But putting yourself in a scenario, anybody, making sure that you are in a 500 calorie deficit, making sure that a good portion, okay, I'm always a believer of one gram per pound of body weight that you want to weigh. So if you want to, if you weigh 200 pounds and you want to drop down to 170, eat 170 grams of protein minimum per day, every day to maintain the muscle you ha have because it's not just for muscle, it's for skin hair, nails, repair, anytime you, immune system, your immune system can take up a big chunk of protein um, of, of those amino acids that are broken down. So I really want to focus here for a moment and write this down. You will never lose any body fat or any weight and keep it off unless you are in a caloric deficit. If you can control a big portion of what goes in your mouth, you are 80% of the way there because workouts just come along for the ride. You know, we can't all say we love working out. No one loves going every day, you know, zone two, zone three. You know, yeah, there's other things to do as far as workouts go. Lifting weights is a big key at least two to three times a week there to maintain muscle while you are in a deficit. You know, I, I run into clients, you know, you know, I have clients that, that are so afraid of being in a deficit in some cases and not realizing that your body needs to eat itself in order to lose weight. That's how you lose weight, especially when it comes to body fat. Your body will pull from that reserve. It may not be right away, but once you go 500 calories less a day for, like, let's say, the first week, the second week, your body starts realizing that it needs to pull from another source, especially if you are incorporating workouts in there. You know, you're, you're, let's say you're getting to 10,000 steps a day and you're getting yourself to a point where you're resistance training three times a week varying it up, hitting all body parts, some that, you know, maybe incorporating a fourth day and you're still in a deficit, you are going to, your body will pull from those reserves. You may need to up your protein intake. You may need to up your cal caloric intake and still be in a 500 calorie deficit. You see where I'm going with this? 
you is that as you lose weight, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but you know, but you're burning a lot of calories when you're working out, when you're lifting weights. You don't burn a lot of calories lifting weights, but you burn enough to actually need to bring more calories in. So to keep this as simple as possible, having that foundation of where you are utilize you letting your body utilize itself for the energy source to burn that extra 500 calories a day, that's one pound of possible body fat to burn off per week. That's 500 calories a day, 3,500 calories a week, one pound of body fat equals 3,500 calories. That's a lot of calories to burn just by lowering your caloric intake. So keep this in mind, not just in mind, get it done. Seriously, focus on that first. Focus on the foundation of restoring your metabolism in a way to where you have protein, fats, and carbs figured out, which are your macros, where you are in a caloric deficit and, you know, stepping into this in a way that is long-term. And, and notice that I'm not telling you to eliminate foods. And that is the other big problem is the elimination of foods everything out of your life initially it, it can't last that's a diet diets restrict you which is which is fine in some cases it's not I, I always say utilize a diet as a tool use a keto diet as a tool use intermittent fasting as a tool okay not as the end of all be all you know to where you're you know you're you're, you're gonna it's not something you're going to maintain all right, you are going to eat food every day. That's that's real, okay? But you're not going to be on a keto diet for the rest of your life. You're not that's not something you're going to do. And I'm not talking about being on something for the rest of your life, but taking the caloric deficit as the biggest stepping stone of like, hey, I need to eat less calories, not a by a lot, not, you know, not limiting yourself to down to way low calories, but making sure your proteins in there. And, you know, you and you're incorporating it into that active lifestyle. So hope all this makes sense. I am taking on five new clients, five new men and women to lose. If you need to lose 10 pounds plus and you are in a active, you know, lifestyle with your family, whatever, and you just can't figure it out and you feel you need a coach. I again, DM me, direct message me here in this video uh, in the comments and say need and I will reach out to you and we can have a one-on-one -on -one and um, we'll go from there see if we're fit later